I guess we're live. Good afternoon, everyone. I guess we're live. Yes, there is it. We are ready. Welcome, Blind Ray. Welcome back in the house. Uh, 10 people already here. Nice. You've all been waiting for Pocket Base today? Is it true? Where are you from? Say hello in the chat. It is a... No, it's not a beautiful day in Germany, but it's another day in Germany. It's winter. It's cold a bit. It's gray, mostly. Probably will be grayish weather for the next two months here. But Happy New Year! It's the first stream of the year, right? Uh, 5th of January. I hope you already had a good start into the year. Welcome Jean-Philippe, Danny, Wusan, uh, and of course Blind Ray. Glad to have you back. Uh, today we're gonna have some, we're gonna have some fun today, because it's it's gonna be one of those streams where I have no idea what we're gonna do. Um, I just know that I want to try Pocket Base, uh, and we will try Pocket Base. Um, I just gave it like a five minute try before uh, I went to sleep uh, earlier today, <laughs> and um, I think we're gonna have some fun with Pocket Base. Uh, explore how it works and together make it work. I think I saw a comment in the chat before from someone who actually already used Pocket Base. Uh, good morning from Mexico, Ismail. Good uh, uh, good afternoon from Germany. Mm. Mm. Ah, I still have some coffee left. Mm, nice, nice. I hope you all had a good start into the new year. Everyone already working. Uh, I certainly already started work again this week and I think in the beginning of the year, I'm always like super motivated to start with all the good habits and all that stuff. And I've actually been pretty good with the last mm, three, four days. So today's stream and I think let's get into this. No, this is, yeah, even my stream deck is working today. This is going to be an epic stream. Nice. So my friends on the internet, I prepared a thing. I prepared a browser and a terminal and my explorer. <laughs> that's, that's all you can ask for. So I wanted to check out Pocket Base for quite some time. Um, I've seen it, I think, mentioned it before last year. Then, uh, like, I think two weeks ago or something, uh, Fireship and Jeff Delaney made a cool video where he also used Pocket Base. The video wasn't really so much about pocket base it was like i actually don't know what the real purpose of that video was um but then i thought yeah pocket base come on we finally need to get to it uh because this little guy here this is like the best thing on that page i really love that <laughs> uh so um i want to try and integrate pocket base it's an open source backend um uh, because all good backends are called base these days for your next SAS and mobile app in one file. And the cool thing is this is actually based on SQL Lite and you can quite easily integrate this, apparently. I don't know. Um, the code looks pretty straightforward. They seem to have a JavaScript SDK. Um, I will just go with uh, React today. Maybe we could also use uh, Swallowed View, Angular, Flutter. All The whole gang is in there, um, but we're gonna do it. Uh, like this. Let's get started. Um, how do I get started? I, I hate to click on documentation because I don't like to read it. So I downloaded this file. You can also, as far as I know, run it with Go, but I don't know if I even have Go installed on my Mac, so I'll just download the file. Uh, let's extract the file. Uh, and there we go. Oh no, that wasn't what I, I also want to start an app. Uh, let's do this. Ionic start probably. Should make this a bit bigger, right? You can't really see this. Just for clarification. Um, pocket app blank dash dash type equals react. Uh, by the way, I'm just using. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm just using Ionic for this because it's kind of easy to use the Ionic UI component, but you could, of course, just use the React project. And, um, we could probably do it, but well, let's just do it like this. Uh, then we need to start Pocket Base, so that's what I read. Uh, we can start it by running Pocket Base Surf. Uh, can I verify it? Yeah, that was the first problem. 
so I need have to go to my security <laughs> settings to enable this uh, on the Mac. At least it's a it's a nice Mac feature uh, if I can find it. Previously there was like a link to this, wasn't it? Uh, where is it? Security. Um, I don't want to move it to bin, please. Uh, allow anyway. Now I can finally allow it. Okay, should be allowed now. Let's try again. Yes, open. Okay, we're ready. We're up and running. Serving REST API and admin UI. There we go. Uh, let's create a user. Uh, let's zoom in a bit. So this seems to be my admin user. Um, where should I, uh, is it, uh, yeah, I probably, oh no, I really don't want to. I think I had something for pocket base generated so I can create, use that information. Yeah, let's use my password. Go away. Okay, no, I'm not using this. Okay, so this is just the admin uh, login. And here we go. Here we have a cool, nice little pocket base application. We have collections. Okay, I, I assume this works pretty much like Firebase. So we let's try. Like, as I said, I, I hate to read the documentation. I just like to play around. I want to build something with to do's. So that's a to do's collection. Uh, all rules follow. So these seem to be the access rules for the collection. Do we want to make it with users or without users? Uh, uh, yeah, well, uh, yeah, well, I don't know. <laughs> um, should we have like to do lists as well? And then we have to do's assigned to to do lists. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? Uh, but that requires also more coding. Will we get this done in 50 minutes? Mm, it's gonna be a bit challenging. Mm, I kind of... Let me let me drink a cup of coffee and look at the chat. What do you say? Do you want to use user authentication for this? Or do we want to go like the easy way to explore pocket base? Ooh. Ah, happy new year, Alec. Um, hello, everyone. Don't we have a Telegram or WhatsApp community for Ionic Fs? Mm, I don't think so. I also don't know if I want to be part of <laughs> uh, a group like that. I think it's a lot of support questions. Hey, from Israel. Uh, welcome. Uh, <laughs> I have the hands so cold here, <laughs> but ready to burn them coding. Danny, that's the spirit. I also don't have my heat map on here today. I feel like I have internal heat lately in the last streams. Hey Walid, uh, you're awesome. Your videos are fantastic help. Thank you. You're welcome. Subscribe. Recommend me to your whole family. All support the channel and subscribe. Uh, hello from uh, Andrea. Interesting. Well, so Andreas from Hasewinkel. I guess you work for one of the big companies in there. Is it the company I work first for? That would be quite interesting. Uh, greetings to my old team. If you do, uh, go easy. I like gal galaxies. <laughs> yeah, the, Ray, you have to get the typing right with galaxies. Uh, but you were close. <laughs> you were close. I can also show you a little preview of galaxies later. Uh, okay, let's go easy. Let's let's for to do disable. Let's just disable this stuff and uh, let's call this notes. We can probably later do some. So now everyone has access to the stuff. Uh, field title let's make the title and then I'm gonna add another field um, note <laughs> okay so then we have a notes collection uh, let's manually add a record my first note uh, cool story bro is it time to blow up servers yeah I'm, I'm not gonna follow Jeff Delaney <laughs> He made a little mistake when, like, I probably guess he underestimated how big his community is. Uh, so for all of you who haven't seen this, um, so let's check Fireship. 
Uh, mm, mm, yeah, what my chat app broke. So Jeff built uh, an application with Pocketbase and hosted it, but everyone could submit a comment here. The problem was Jeff's community, like he has almost 2 million subscribers and everyone was just writing bots and killing his stuff here. Um, and just putting in really bad comments and things that, yeah, profanity that he just couldn't uh, prevent. Servers were crashing and uh, his whole example of pocket base was just a fiasco in the end. Uh, as you can see right here, uh, people were just, uh, yeah, putting in everything. So I don't don't think we're going to do something like that. Uh, I feel really sorry for Jeff. Uh so let's start easy with a notes collection. Um, what, where's my Onyx app? Uh, pocket app, that should be it. Here we go. Okay, We're probably gonna put the app to the side as well. Uh, let's run Ionic Surf. Yes, I have to make this one, two, three, at least four times bigger. Yeah, perfect example of uh, misunderstanding his audience. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, so sorry, Jeff. Okay, we got our setup in place. Let's put Ionic somewhere here. Okay, should be fine. Uh, probably don't even need it. Yeah, that's perfect, Sam. That's really how an app looks. Okay. Um, so how do we query our collection? This is as far as I basically got with pocket base before. Now we're entering the territory where I have no idea. Um, so if you do have an understanding of it, let me know. Uh, first of all, no, actually, first of all, I want to make it with insomnia because I want to see how this works. Um, API preview, I want to view. So this seems to be the API endpoint. Um, as far as I know, uh, we got this as the endpoint, and then we got API collections notes records. Seems legit. See? Yeah, nice. Apparently, I can't zoom into this. Uh, what was again the command for like z zoom tool on a Mac? I think that was some kind of utility. Um. Can somebody tell me what the what the zoom magnifying whatever utility on the Mac was? Please don't tell me the wrong screen command or I will kill all the processes and also kill the stream. That wouldn't be great today. Um, but anyway, you can trust me that this is the JSON. Here is notes. Cool story, bro. My first note uh, with a collection name. This is quite interesting. We've come pretty pretty quickly to this. What was that? Mag magnifying glass. Uh, accessibility. Can I can I do this quickly? Like, uh, uh, how to zoom? Uh, come on. Is there no way to make this easier? Zoom. Oh, use keyboard shortcuts to zoom. Okay, toggle zoom. Eight. Oh, great. This zooms in everything. Well, at least you can now probably see the note. <laughs> uh, what are you using to test that API? This is currently Insomnia I've been using. Uh, I switched from Postman to insomnia.rest. Um, it's cool. I also have in Visual Studio Code the um, Rapid API client for testing. That's also nice to have the result in Visual Studio Code. Uh, but right here I've been using Insomnia. But we don't need to query the API as far as I know, because we can actually do this with a pocket-based JavaScript SDK. And that, that's now going to be really interesting. So let's install this. Pocket base, and then we're gonna go to our home page. And on our home page, I'm gonna get rid of all the fancy stuff in here. My notes, ion toolbar, the color always has to change to primary, otherwise, I don't feel at home. Okay, great, good start. Um, 
Also don't need the explore container. Get rid of the explore container. Yeah, calm down. Now everything. Ah, too many hotkeys. Okay. Uh, cons pocket blaze equals new pocket base, and then we can get this. Okay, that screams for creating a pocket base service. Um, ah, we're not inside Angular. It's not a service. Ah, we have to uh, do a custom hook in that case, right? Uh, I always forget about the syntax. Uh, use pocket base. TS. Uh, what is the syntax for a hook? Do you have a snippet for that? Like uh, React hook? Nope. Mm -mm. TypeScript React hook. <laughs> Come on, great hook. Yeah, thank you <laughs> for nothing. <laughs> uh, I don't have any snippets for creating a hook. Come on. Can Let's do export const use pocket base equals. Well, there we go. Um, okay, so this what the initial code they gave us. Uh, I have to import pocket base from pocket base. Who would have thought? Um, okay, pocket base. Um, yeah, well, we can keep it like that. Um, get notes um, const get notes equals um, async operation and restructuring it. I feel like really in a flow when I try out new things like these. I really feel in a flow. Only my coffee is empty. <laughs> it's a pity. Um, and we also need return get notes to finish our hook. So await pocket base collection notes. Um, I actually want to get everything. So let's just return. Do we want to? Is there like a live feature on pocket base? Oh, there's real time. Uh huh. Okay. Authenticate collection. Subscribe. Okay, I can just subscribe to the collection. That's pretty awesome, isn't it? Um, I'm probably gonna be. Well, let's let's start easy. Come on, people, let's start easy. Let's just get all the notes, and probably another function for add note. Uh, now we need a little interface export interface note um, Anyone by the way anyone use trpc or uh, just R T R T R P C or rpc I've seen it coming up over and over and heard about it, but I just this week I used graphql and uh, people are always really no don't use GraphQL. You should use trpc. I haven't touched trpc before So I don't know is it worth getting into it? It seems interesting, but it seems also like learning a whole ton of new of a new syntax uh, So let me know What do you think about trpc if everyone used it? Uh, have you ever tried using a Svelte front end with pocket base? It's amazing. Oh, yeah, we could have could have done it with Svelte as well. I'm gonna do this next time. Every, everything was swelled is inc incredibly easy. Um, but today we got this here, this little React thing. So I assume if I wanna create a node, uh, it will look like this. Uh, I can actually use my Postman thing here. Can I just use, can I just use JSON to TypeScript? Is there like a command line tool that could do this um, that's actually quite nice but most of the stuff is optional like only note and title should be supplied in the beginning everything else uh, is actually optional otherwise we could run into a lot of issues here oh come on why is it not formatting 
format document with like I got prettier code formatter and if I click the second one it will actually format but it's also prettier I don't know sometimes Visual Studio Code is like telling me to to get away from it um, so we haven't done the full uh, connection whenever I use something like this I really want to just see the whole picture from create the back end and the front end and just connecting everything that follows up we can figure out the whole rest afterwards but just this first part of making it work that's really like the most exciting part to me all the time um so we need our hook um uh, um what's it called use pocket base use pocket base okay and we need um get notes and add node from use pocket base and so we can use uh use effect or ion view yeah we can probably just use use effect um yeah thanks for the use effect snippet uh, no dependencies um Oh, come on. Uh, what is this snippet? That's confusing. I don't really like it. <laughs> um, let's do load data. I could just also do it. Is there a difference if I do it like this? And then call load data? Or if I just directly call uh, get nodes? I'm not sure. Uh, But at this point, we should actually see data from pocket base in our lock here. Yes, there we go. Okay, uh, that looks horrible. Can we get rid of those messages? So um, we're gonna disable the strict mode. Otherwise I get all locks twice. Thank you. Okay, what's the data we get back? Uh, client collection nodes. Client is there like a record? Holy moly, where's my data? <laughs> I should have probably read the documentation. Um, so um, I want to list collection notes, get list, I'll fetch a paginated notes record list. I actually don't want pagination. I mean, pagination isn't bad. Um, what's the difference between a view is a single one, lists, okay. Yeah, okay. Then let's go back here and add get, oh, get full list. I assume that is the full list. <laughs> um, nice, I seem to get back one node. Uh, the request was auto canceled. Oh, why do I get that message? That doesn't look good to me. Uh, 17. Okay, now we're good. We're good, we're good. We got the data. Um, it looks a bit strange here, the nesting. Um, <laughs> because there's like an N inside. What is this N? <laughs> Uh, let's do a filter or sort. We're gonna sort by get, uh, you can also fetch all records at once via get full list. But what does the 200 mean? Uh, get full list, batch, I don't know. Yeah, let's go with 200 and then uh, sort by, um, probably by, updated okay but the thing is I actually I actually like to map this to a decent is this already a decent array what is this n in here I'm not sure doesn't look that good um, 
25 people welcome good afternoon to everyone if you're just checking this out we are trying out pocket base today uh, pocket base a free open source backend for your SAS and mobile app um, let's see let's just try and render the data I on list uh, list Ion item. Oh no! Yeah, react. Welcome, react. Uh, so uh, let's see. I kind of like observables. It's a way of using observables with react. It's like this. They use state management usually with react, right? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Um, notes set notes equal use state start with an empty array not strict what did I type I didn't type that one not strict equal thanks okay the question is how do do you think swelt will ever officially be included now mm, that's a good question Ed um, I don't know I don't, I don't think I don't know how the Ionic team is gonna approach these new frameworks. Like if you add, like we Ionic has Angular and React and Vue, but if you now start to add another wrapper for Swelt, what about Solid? Shouldn't we add another wrapper for Solid? And then um, there's probably something else coming up. Like, do they really want to manage like five, six wrappers at some point? I don't think that's the right way for Ionic to go. So they probably have to figure out something. I don't know really, like, I'm glad I don't have to figure this out and they do, uh, but maybe we're gonna see it first. Well, at least like someone from the community made a lot of progress on that already. So let's let's see, I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, type record. Okay, um, so I on list notes dot map uh, too many brackets. No, actually should be fine. I on item. We got a key. It should be something like note dot id. And we do have an ion label. I'm gonna set that to the node dot title. Oh, <laughs> compiled on the first try, my friends. <laughs> I really didn't expect it to work because the structure here looked kind of strange to me uh, with this N. I don't know what they what this really meant, but looks like i figured it out on the first try <laughs> so that means we can also um use our types now and make sure that we really uh use yeah get nodes doesn't have the right typing uh no problem uh get ace uh which position i'm just confused right now where i have to edit no not here there i think here uh, oh come on i'm confused was it here <laughs> i just can't find the right place um where was the right place for the, my types uh equals promise oh yeah promise uh promise Come on, I hate this keyboard. Uh, promise. Mm. Oh yeah, it doesn't like it, right? Huh. Oh, I see it's another file. Question was, oh, sorry, late to life guys. Pocket base comes with its own hooks for React. No, um, it's not. I'm now officially in charge of the pocket base React hooks library. <laughs> <laughs> Probably create a wrapper and upload it to GitHub. Hmm. Okay, this is gonna always gonna be challenging. 
but it is an array, so I don't know. It always feels bad to do something like that. That could potentially change it, but uh, operator can be applied to types boolean and return. Uh, async. Oh. Yeah, that totally makes sense. Thank you, Alexandru. Uh, 10 points do Gryffindor for this solution. So we got this. Um, how do we add a new node? Um, we could probably like go into it. We want to have another page for it. Probably, right? We're gonna have another page for it. Uh, Node.tsx. But then again, I would also like to use authentication. Hmm. Um, well, that was a snippet. I had a snippet, I swear. Ionic, React, um, uh, functional component, something like that. Oh, come on. Ionic react. Page component, that was the name. Name. Okay, my notes. So this should be for the details. If we add a new page and want to navigate to that page, uh, I've done this like a hundred times now. So let's go here. Let's add another route. Um, exact path equals uh, home slash ID component will be our note. Could you please give me com code completion and auto import? Thank you. And then on our home page, we're gonna add two ion item button and router link so we can then navigate to slash home slash slash home come on simon slash home slash node dot id let's see voila it works first try I should have like from from PewDiePie from his one of his videos where he has zero death. Zero death. First try. We should really have like a sound. I only got like this. So oh, I got this one. Well, it's actually from PewDiePie, isn't it? <laughs> um anyway, uh, uh what was I about to do? Oh yeah, we got the note page. Uh let's add a back button, ionic react back button, slot start. Uh, add all missing imports. Default href is gonna be home. Uh, then we're gonna make the color here secondary so we can see the difference. And then we want to add a new node. Uh, oh, we also wanna load the node details. How do we do this? Um, get one. So back to the hook const get node by id equals actually don't need e equals async we just need the string in here i'm gonna remove this here no need i don't know what will this will actually this is promise uh promise note probably uh, get note by ID should return. So far, I really like it. Like, we only got this connected to pocket base. It's actually pretty easy to use. Uh, it's going to be interesting now. So, get note by ID uh, collection. I feel like we should have a const for this at this point. Const notes collection. It's usually better if you do it like this because then you can't can't add typo somewhere. Uh, get one record ID expand. I don't think I want to expand anything yet. Uh, and the record ID is most likely the ID. 
So we're gonna call get node by ID in our node page. Do you enjoy this? Come on, people, say something in the chat. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm so much in the flow of typing and writing and enjoying this. Uh, I'm actually not paying uh, close enough attention to the chat. What's going on? Are you actually working? Are you tuning in while you work? Or are you all tuning in like from your television and you're watching this while, while you're going to bed? If you watch this in bed, I, I couldn't sleep after this. It's so exciting. Um, I would totally get too excited about this. Um, can we just use node from uh, hook? Uh, node set node get node. So we probably don't need add node, and I also need get 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 node by ID. Lambda t six. Note by you. Oh, I know the syntax once again for accessing the props. I hate it. Um, um, there was a, like an Ionic snippet for this. Uh, let's see, Ionic framework. Uh, I always go back to that because I keep forgetting about it. It's in the React. No, it's in the. Uh, it's somewhere in React. Somewhere in React land. Uh, navigation, uh, I am rec router, yada yada yada. Um, there we go. This is the one I meant. Um, so we're gonna call this note page props. Uh, and then we can add them here note page props. And then we can just extract match. And then we should be able to um, use ion view will enter. Just getting fancy today. Um, and use ion view will enter. We're going to use match.params.id and call get node by ID. And async get no we're gonna add a little lock then we call set node for our state and for our own happiness and then we're gonna set the title no we're not gonna set the title we're actually gonna do this in here uh, i'm gonna add ion item then an ion input um um how do we do this on input could set the value to node dot title uh, and on change on ion change uh, let's implement that later okay let's see problems no it didn't compile on first try oh come on get note by ID just because I didn't add the type that will of course return a promise note. So it was just a TypeScript issue. Oh, uh, declaration note. Oh yeah, that's a pity. Um, maybe that page should be called note page. Would make sense, right? Note page, note page, note page, note page. Now everyone happy, yes. Nice, there we go. We are on that route using the ID in the route. We can access that node. Perfect. Let's see how we can add a node. Nice, we're making progress. I'm watching in bed, it's 1.30 in the morning in Australia. I guess you mean Australia. You're not from Austria, right? Uh, it's called like this that makes me long for the Person is off C. I guess I'm showing my age. <laughs> yeah, just today I thought I've seen so many horrible TypeScript interfaces now where people say, oh, this is so easy to make a union type and this and optional here and there, and it looks so ugly and horrible with TypeScript now. So I don't know. Um, let's add an ion fab button. So isn't there Ionic React 
Fab. Oh, come on. Are you happy? No, not yet. Anyway, Ion Fab. Close Ion Fab. Um, Ion Fab button, horizontal. Oh no, you, do you have to say this here? Horizontal? Yeah, horizontal is this one. So let's use and slot fixed and vertical. What is vertical? I always, I hate this. I'm so bad, I, I, I don't know. I have a problem with some things. So when I, heard, when I hear vertical, I don't know what it means. I have to think about horizontal and that the horizontal is like this. And then I know, oh, okay, so vertical must be the opposite. It is this. But these three steps, I just need to take them. I don't know why. My head can't, I just, I don't know. I have a problem. Same for numbers of month. If you say like what number is May, I don't know. My brain has no connection between like the number of a month and the name of the month. So I do have now to help myself some, some like fixed points. Like I know that August is eight. I made up that and I know that November is 11 because I have this and January is of course number one but like when it gets to num month number three four five six I get totally lost like if you say June it really takes me long because I don't know how many months before August it is and August is eight so I don't know just just some random thoughts you might think people are smart and then you you, you understand that they have substantial problems with month and horizontal and vertical so don't feel bad about your own shortcomings um anyway um pocket base has no shortcomings so far <laughs> yeah exactly i think of horizontal as being the horizon but making that assumption and it takes two or three steps and it just slower than other people are um uh ion fab button let's just use a router link Oh, thanks for subscribing, Frank. Cheers to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go with this one pretty ugly. Um, and outline. Um, so I'm gonna route to the next page. From Ionic cards. I'm gonna go to the next. What's it called? Add circle outline? Yeah, whatever. Just use something. Uh, okay, now we got that fab button. In fact, I don't like the circle. Can I just have add outline? Okay, so now when I go there, I must, yeah, I must get a problem because null doesn't exist so if oh no it's a string null how do we handle this the best case hmm. like the string null i could i guess if i just navigate without anything would that work uh nope that would certainly not work so i need to navigate there but with no value so let's use undefined in here. Uh, in the undefined case, uh, we have nothing. That's not a problem, but it's also not cool. Mm, text area. We need a button to save this as well. I want buttons, slot, and at least I don't have to think a lot about the UI that's that's quite nice uh, ion button uh, on click I want to call uh, save and then another icon icon uh, something like save outline slot icon only all right, we got that, we got that. 
Um, okay. Uh, okay, yeah, the text area, my bad. Gonna get to that in a second. So, I don't text area has, I think, rows or lines. Like, let's give it at least five rows. And a placeholder. My node follows here. Um, okay, yeah. So, there we go. Uh, we can only save this. Uh, we could have used a form package, but mm, nah, let's not do this. So, we can only save if our node has. Uh, we're gonna disable this until then. It's gonna be disabled when the node title is not set. If not title, yeah, pretty much only in that case. So yeah, in that case, it's disabled. For this one, we also need a little placeholder. No title. In here, gonna add, if we do have a node with a title, we're gonna use that, or otherwise we're gonna use uh, my node. Uh, or no, create node. Yes, looks good. Now we also wrap this one in an ion item. Are we getting pretty close to you? Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Cool, uh, now we just need something. Oh, it's already 46. You can get lost so much when you're coding. Really, so much. Ah, uh, okay. Let's see, uh, how do we create a node with pocket base? Oh, we already have this add node. So let's use it in here. Add node. Um, so if node has, if the node doesn't have an ID, it means we want to save and here we want to update. So in this case, we want to call add node with our node. And I actually don't know what we want to do. We want to probably await the result. Uh, node. Node point it should be defined so now it's gonna be interesting can I write a new node to pocket base this is like the first time we really got to that point let's open my collection here uh, let's add a new node from ionic uh, from ionic my cool text Okay, it's, oh yeah, I know what I forgot. <laughs> the update. Uh, on ion change, we wanna do something. So on ion change, we're gonna have this and we're gonna call set node with everything that node has and set the title to Event.target.detail, something like that. Um, let's do a little lock here. Save node before I put any trash to the database. Um, um, no, actually, it should be a custom event. What's your problem, set node? Uh, this is definitely a node, you can trust me. Uh, yeah, welcome to TypeScript, my friends. Uh, argument of type title, any node, string, uh, da, 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 is not assignable to parameter of type set state action node undefined. Da, 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 is not assignable to type node. What is missing? Ah, oh, come on node type string is not assignable to type string undefined oh, goodness 
set the type set node undefined yeah but isn't that really super ugly also I honestly don't know no it's not this um, do I have to put this in the first place no that won't change anything uh, also title e dot s string um, I did this before why is it not working today uh, uh, um, uh, where did I use it the last time I can't remember can't remember I guess here let's see when I tried this the last time uh, I hit something so whenever target dot value um, can also set this to any set title set note this is a perfectly legit note I'm not complete. I don't know, know why. What's your problem with it? Like, I just want to use all. Okay, maybe because. Ah, okay, yes, I found that. Cool. Okay, that was just a minor issue. My bad. Uh, and we of course also need this on change for the ion text area. Uh, only then in this case, when I change the node or something. What is the property? Uh, title and node, yeah. So, test number two. Let's go. Um, create node from Ionic. Hello world. Okay, yeah, almost good. I just forgot to comment in this part. So let's add that part and hit save again. Boom, there we go. Nice. I like it. I like it. Cool. So we've been able to write to Pocket Base now to a SQLite connection. So please don't tell you can't use SQLite. SQLite is awesome. It really is, by the way. Um, Now we just need to update a node and then we need um let's also add a button to delete the node while we're here we can do this Const delete we got eight more minutes in the power hour this was really a power hour today uh why can't i call this const delete oh yeah here man delete node uh, delete node so ion buttons can I on buttons host two buttons I do think it can um, this a uh, this should by the way uh, only be withable when the node has an ID so only if the node actually has an ID we're gonna show the trash button, otherwise there's no trash. Great, good. Good, we're making progress. Uh, now we just need to delete and update it. Uh, add node, let's see. Delete node by ID. I assume we just have to call <laughs> delete uh, on an ID, but this probably won't return yeah it just returns a promise boolean okay interesting um, but anyway should work so delete node goes here as well yeah we got the two nodes in here we got delete node uh, 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 delete node I'll reach you delete note. Oh, come on. Yeah, delete. 
by ID. I should have called the other one delete. This should really be delete node, but in use code, this should delete node by ID. Okay, there we go. Delete node, delete node by ID. Uh, await delete node by ID, node dot ID. And once we got that, we should navigate back. So ion router, use ion router. And then ion router dot uh, go back. Okay. No, I'm gonna have an ID. Uh, what's your problem? String undefined. Can't do it like this. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Can I delete this one? I apparently can. Um, only our collection is not updated yet. So if we would have used real time, we could easily do this. Now we just need the update. Uh, that's the last part for our node. Let's implement that together. Um, update node by ID, pocket base collection nodes, and then update ID. No, actually just pass a node here. Node, node. I want to use the node ID and then the actual node. So the second param, uh, ID and body params, yeah. And then we get back a node. Cool. That's pretty clean, like very clean code. I think I haven't written, written that clean code for a long time. Um, update node by ID. So, const result equals update node by ID. Let's see, is this everything we need? Okay, let's add a new node. This is cool. Uh, whatever, let's hit save. This creates a new node. We're not yet updating this, but no problem. My updated node uh, is an update and then it made the update, nice. And then my updated node should normally be above my first cool node. Didn't we had some kind of sort? Mm. Uh, get full list query params. Uh, sort. Uh, uh, uh. Pocket base, how do I sort this correctly? View. Um, no, this is not allowed in my chat. And I'm gonna put this user in timeout. What is this? I finally having trolls here in the chat. Um, we could probably next week look into the real time and uh, authentication. I'm not yet finished with pocket base. We, we just made the basics work today. We had the CRUD operation work, but I definitely wanna see more about it. This was pretty interesting. Um, only thing is, I don't know why we weren't able to sort this. Um, sort, sort minus created. Uh, minus. Yeah, then would sort correctly. This is more recent. Wait, save and then go back and yeah, this is more recent as no at the top. That was pretty interesting. Cool. Um, so we got a basic note taking app with pocket base. We could deploy this now somewhere um, and it would just work. TM. Um, what else is there in pocket base? I know we haven't looked a lot at it yet. So we can see all the request logs in pocket base that we made here. Um, we have settings, application name, URL. Oh yeah, I definitely want to add some kind of mail settings. <laughs> yeah, what pocket base and every good uh, uh, backend these days is called base, pocket base, super base, graph base, all the base. 
um yeah so but it's free it's open source it's just one file it's really just one file we i've been running this from where's my finder i don't know i, I had a finder somewhere um uh, so here this is really just this one pocket base file you can also have like a migrations file then we do have the uh oh that's interesting could i open this with a sqlite browser um browse data okay this is admins <laughs> nice i can even browse this with my sqlite uh, browser and see the data this is really interesting this is really really cool and you can like it's so easy to host this somewhere we haven't touched real-time authentication or file storage <laughs> we've seen the uh, admin dashboard so you can also export this is also nice if you export your collection you can easily use this with other sqlite if you just yeah you want to use the sqlite in your app by toggle, toggle base use a local file system but you can also um add it to s3 to aws that is nice oh we're definitely gonna do this next week probably we're gonna add like github sign up I don't want to follow Jeff Delaney and make the same mistakes he did, but I think our community isn't isn't as big as his community. So we're gonna add user authentication next week. Um, then maybe every user can have his own notes, um, private notes. And then we, yeah, we use, yeah, something like GitHub sign up or whatever. I'm really looking forward to that. That's gonna be exciting. Um, <laughs> Also, I always wanted to try out Pocket Base and just scheduling for the stream gave me the chance to check it out. So um, although there was not that much activity in the chat today as otherwise sometimes, um, I'm still happy that all of you tuned in today. Um, thank you, Alexandru, for helping me out here and there. <laughs> yes, there was another power hour ray. Also, like a lot of people actually watch this afterwards. So I know not everyone's awake. Like it's 3 p.m. in Germany, 4 p.m. now, it's a nice time. But United States, especially like West Coast, it's probably not the time you tune into a stream. So if you watch this later, thanks also for tuning in. Um, and yeah, we're definitely gonna have a second stream about Pocket Base next week because it works, but I wanna see more about it. I wanna see the cool features. I wanna probably see file upload. I wanna see user authentication. I want to see the emails. I want to see more. And we're going to take a look at it next week for sure. Promise. I will also either afterwards or next week create a repository so you can check out the code uh, that I've written so far for the application. Um, it's pretty straightforward. It's just React in here and the connection to Pocketbase is just a simple hook. But anyway, if you're interested in it, I'm gonna upload it next week and then we also maybe gonna deploy it to a server. I'm gonna prepare this uh, before we get to that. So thanks for tuning in. Have a great rest of your Thursday or a great Friday tomorrow. And hopefully I will catch you next week. So until then, as always, happy coding. <laughs>